New here at 4 o'clock, Vice President Kamala Harris is back in town today. She's talking up the Biden administration's efforts to boost the economic power of the Hispanic community. WGN's Kelly Davis is live at McCormick Place with more on the visit. Kelly. Ben and Dina, this is the vice president's second trip to Chicago in the past two weeks, and this time it felt more like a campaign stop as she rallied support for the Biden administration and highlighted all the work they've done for the Latino community. I do believe that in the face of dark moments, the history of this organization has helped to shine a light on our path. Vice President Kamala Harris speaking to a large group of Latino leaders at the Unidos conference in Chicago. When we celebrate our diversity and recognize that unity is our strength, we then build a stronger nation, a stronger democracy, and a stronger world. Harris talked about the economic powerhouse the Latino community has become and highlighted the work the Biden administration has done to help get them there. They've created 13 million new jobs and invested billions of dollars in community banks for small business loans. And as a result of that work, we have seen more small businesses created in the last two years than any other two year period in history. Growth, by the way, that is being led by Latinas who are the fastest growing group of small business owners in America. She received plenty of support from this group as she called out the need for immigration reform. She didn't name names or even the Republican Party, but said extremists are to blame for the issues at our borders. Extremists, so-called leaders, have a blueprint to attack hard-won freedoms and rights and to do it state by state as part of their national agenda. Harris gave Unidos credit for the work they've done to increase voter turnout, especially leading up to the 2020 election. In that election, we saw record turnout, including record turnout by younger voters, which of course elected Joe Biden president of the United States and me vice president of the United States. Her appearance today secured some more votes for 2024 as Biden's administration works to pick up momentum ahead of next year's election. Her speaking today um, and being in this Latina, um, you know, uh, Unidos uh, conference, that means a lot, you know, and, you know, I, I certainly will vote for her. <laughs> Harris will be back in town in a couple weeks on August 11th. She is set to be the keynote speaker at Every Town for Gun Safety's annual conference, which takes place here in Chicago. Live at McCormick Place, I'm Kelly Davis, WGN News.